Yeah, we're the Williams Brothers, and we come to you every week on a Friday, although you can watch us anytime once we're up, but we release a couple of new films that we've made, two short films, about a minute long. That's why we call ourselves Just a Minute Films. Yeah, we're like the Minutemen. Mark, I, I, I want to show you, start off with my film uh, that Ooh, yeah. I, I made this week. And um, Are you anyway, using that I'll, actor again? Yeah, I'm using that actor again. So uh, well, let's just get to it, and then we can, we can talk about it afterwards, okay? Yeah. Yep. Right, oh, already. Are we rolling? Made you sad, did it? Oh, I was I was expecting you were gonna just take your clothes off and jump in the water, and it was all over. Like I just I thought about it. Yeah, very very thought provoking. Yeah. Or well, whatever. what did you mean when it said you can't see the ocean without a broken heart? Well, that's a that's a line from uh, that's a line from a poem, and uh, yeah, you can't see the ocean without a broken heart. And it means that I think you've had to, you have had to have suffered some kind of emotional um, upset, you know, really, really to kind of experience, I think, the full weight of, of uh, that mood of standing by the ocean, watching the waves come in one by one, you know, experiencing time passing. I mean, the ocean doesn't really care, does it? Uh, what's happened to you? And yet it's, uh, it's often one of those places we go to. So it kind of lended itself. And I, I was talking to you earlier, I did another version of this with uh, some narration, which uh, very brief, but it tried to tell that story. But I, I don't know, I found every time I put words to that, that piece of film, it just got worse. And I, I just, I didn't like it. When I saw it, I thought, well, you know, people watch it and then they can make up their own story. Ah. And then that's what I thought, okay, that's really what I wanted is like, let people watch it and decide for themselves what they think is going on. Yes. Um, and, you know, there is, a, there is that tradition of filmmaking, which is very minimalist. And uh, it leaves it up to you to figure out, you know, what, what do you think is going on? You know, Actually, you... I think you hit the nail on the head. It was a very minim minimalist film. Well, let's move on. I'm sure people want us to. Um, and, and we'll move on to your film, Mark. It's a very, very different film, I, I believe. Yeah, we're, we always seem to have different films, that's for sure. Yeah, we do. So tell, me, tell us about your film. Well, my film is called A Swingy Day Fairies. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> well, well, no, what you is... have to say it like that because it's just a nice word. Swingy Day. Swingy Day Fairies. I'll, uh, I'll explain it once you see it. Oh, well, okay. You know. Let's watch your film and we'll uh, get back to it. Hold on. Oh, 
<clears throat> Mark, I, I, now I really enjoyed that. I found it very refreshing. I see you were back at the Urquhart Butterfly Farm where you've been before. You bring us so close to nature and to often to uh, to creatures that we don't know so well. And and even when they are creatures that we think we know, you you show them in kind of such an intimate way that we are always learning something new. Now tell us a bit about those those creatures because they're not something that you know I don't think I've seen every day. No, you don't see them every day because they they kind of mimic a hummingbird or maybe even a, a bee or or something like that. So people don't always necessarily spot them, um, but they're part of the clear wing, what they call the clear wing family. And uh, there's different families. This is the Spingidae uh, family, and um, it includes uh, in that film there were three members of that family. There was mm. the uh, sphinx moth. There was the clear wing, uh, the hummingbird uh, moth, and then there was the snowberry. Wow. And uh, the one, one uh, really uh, easy way to tell uh, is the snowberry has black legs and the hummingbird moth has white legs. So that's a really quick visual if you're out there and you see these little guys um, you, to figure out which one's which. Right. The snake moth is, was the one with the two yellow stripes on the rear, but um, you don't see those as often. They're a little no. more rare to find. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you get up really close to them the way you do, and you can see, you can almost kind of sense their bodies, you know, they're, they're kind of substantial, you know. Yes. Um, and when, you, when I see them, and I don't mean to, you know, anthropomorphize them, like make them like people, but it was almost like they, they got their little waistcoats on, their little, you know, outfits, you know. But they, they're so beautiful. That, that as I was watching that film, what I was thinking was how, how can we even think about like putting pesticides and poisons on the flowers and the fields when there's like, when there's just lovely creatures like that? Yeah, they're just beautiful. And yeah, you, how, how, can we, how can we destroy them with all kinds of sprays and pesticides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's a really beautiful film, very colorful. And, and uh, you really, I just love the way you move us in really, really close. Oh, thank you, Mike. Um, so there's uh, uh, two uh, two of our films this this week. Um, the uh, you you can't uh, see the ocean without a broken heart uh, from from myself, um, and Sphinky Day Fairies. Well, wow, you couldn't get two more very different films, um, but we hope you enjoyed them, folks. Yeah. Uh, I'm Michael Williams, my brother and I'm over Mark here. Williams. We're the Williams brothers for Just a Minute Films, yeah. and we'll be back next Friday with two more very different films, I'm sure. Find us on Facebook, go to justaminutefilms.com. Uh, that'll take you to our YouTube channel. Okay, folks, from Just A Minute Films, uh, yep. again, Michael Williams and my brother. Mark, Mark. Williams signing off here. Yeah, bye-bye for now. Remember that old that show we used to watch where the, the lady used to put the, the little round thing in front of her and say, I, I see Bobby and I oh, see this romper room. Ru oh, was it? Yeah, it was that was romper room. She had that little thing in it. The we should do that. Room. Then we can see the other our viewers a little bit closer. Like Yeah. You know? That was the same show they had doobies on there, didn't they? Doob doobies? The doobie doobies. Doobies. <laughs> no, uh, don't you remember that? The doobies. It was a kid's show. It was a kid's show. Yeah, but they didn't do doobies. No, <laughs> no, she did. If you want, go on YouTube and watch that. And and she had something called doobies, or the, like you could be a doobie, a doobie. <laughs>